Hello, hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ada, this is the shop update vlog. You know that because you can read, but I said it anyway. So as you know, I closed my shop recently in April. Not recently at all. I closed it for my birthday and I ended up having it closed for a little while longer than I anticipated. Just needed a break, honestly, and it gave me a little bit of time to work on some new products and also my own style because I was struggling a lot with my style at the time. Uh, but we're back, baby. These are the stickers and my new magnet that I made up this time around. If you watched my last video or you follow my Instagram, you've seen them already. But this is the shop update video, so I thought I would share them here too. If you can't tell, I'm really into like summertime 60s like flower power vibes at the moment but also like in keeping with my kind of mystical celestial vibe that always kind of creeps into my work sort of the perfect uh summer style for me i think <laughs> for anyone who misses the blue by the way do not fear the blue is not gone forever i'm just really into green right now a year ago i wouldn't have even looked at green pen i actually almost threw away all of my green pens this time last year kind of time because I just never thought I would ever use them but I'm just so into green right now I love nature and it's just kind of the direction that my digital work is going in at the moment but I actually still do prefer to use blue traditionally anyway so this clip is from when I was designing my patch I wanted to include the drawing process now since you'll see the final patch near the end of the video and I just think it's like a fun sort of thing to see like it being designed and then it being real I guess <laughs> I mean, you've probably seen it already because they're literally up in my shop right now, but I just thought that would be fun. So there's that, there's the drawing. <laughs> anyway, rambling. Uh, I better get on with the sponsor of this video who is Skillshare as usual. Thank you so much to you guys. If somehow you didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community where you can go to learn creative abilities. Example, procreate, animation, watercolor, baking, interior design, photography, Photoshop. So much to choose from. The range is huge and I always end up learning like a new tip or a new trick whenever I take a class. This month since I made some patches I thought I would look up some kind of merch textiles class and I found this one by Aaron Draplin. You've probably seen it advertised around because I think a few people have taken it. It's quite a popular class but he's really great and his designs are really cool and I just thought I'd give it a go. So he has been designing merch for 15 years and obviously he knows what he's doing. Um, and he just kind of teaches you about picking a design that works and finding the right people to make your products for you and just all about merch. So if you're interested in that, click the link in my description. You will get, I believe it's a month free trial now. So click the link in my description, you will get some kind of free trial. Either way, I would take it up and give it a go and check out either that class or maybe another one I've mentioned or one someone else has mentioned or if you just like have something you want to learn about, just type it in, see what comes up. And it is a really great service. And yes, yeah, thank you so much to Skillshare as usual, you guys the best and now I'm going to show well I'm just going to play all of the footage now that I filmed over the these past few prep weeks and a little bit after the shop update as well and during and everything so enjoy also uh wearing my earrings by tater balls <laughs> I can't not say it in an American accent tater balls um if you're interested anyways I'll see you at the end for the ending see you then
going on. So I bought these recyclable paper bags to replace my plastic cello bags. Now, they're a little snug. Uh, they are A5 exactly, so I can just about squeeze a print in there. Cannot fit any backing card whatsoever. So just what I've done for now is, since this is a print set, I've just banded them together with the cardboard, with some tape. The prints have a bag each, and they're just like this, ready to grab. Now, this is probably not what I will do when my shop has opened, let's be real. It's a little bit time consuming. I might just chuck the cardboard in the envelope instead of taping it to the prints, but we'll see. But I just thought taping a piece of cardboard to every print was a bit much, so I did them in two. I think they look kind of cute. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna see if I can write A5 print or print set or something on here. I mean, they don't have to be labeled, but I kind of want to see what that looks like. Then I'm gonna print some of the green girls, these are the blue girls. So this is my stack of these guys. <laughs>
Tuesday today. I'm opening my shop in two days. That's the plan. Look rough today. It's hot. I've got an actual planet on my face with a colony. Please ignore it. So I've just been printing some prints out. I'm going to do some test prints of my fruit gal. Don't even know if I'm going to be selling prints of her. I'm just going to try it and see what happens. So let's do that. She's a little dark, but looks pretty good. I've selected all of the green in the image, all the dark green, and I'm just gonna lighten that green a bit. All right, let's see how that looks. Print. The green is lighter, but now you can see more of the texture on the canvas, like more of the scratchy lines, which I'm not, not a fan of. So I'm gonna undo that. I'm actually gonna lighten the whole image just a bit. Okay, so this was the one with the lighter green and the lighter everything else. The green looks horrendous. This one is just a lighter all around image without the green being adjusted separately. And I think it's my favorite. That pink needs to be a bit more vibrant though. So we've got our pink clipped, hue and saturation. I'm just gonna bring that saturation up and darkness down. I'm not a pro by the way. <laughs> this is just how I do it. Or I might use the vibrance tool, but Human saturation is kind of my best friend. Cute. Chrome Vix offline Netflix mode. You can watch all the things with more customer learn more. Hmm. We're not quite there still. This is the original. Uh, very different. It's never going to be perfect. It's still way too dark. There's still, you can just see everything. So I'm still unsure if I'll be making prints of this guy yet or not, but I'm thinking, but I just wanted to have a little practice either way. here yet but I received a little package from someone called Selena or Taylor Balls, which is a great name and I just had to share it because I'm obsessed so for a start the box with my name on I saw it like this when I got it out I was like what is that that's cool it's my name real cool card here is the socials look at these Beauty patootie earrings. I love these so much. I have not worn them yet because I wanted to share them with you, but I'm super excited. And then also the cutest little note. These lovely lino prints. This one in particular I am drawn to. Can you figure out why? <laughs> so sweet. I was very excited when I received a box because I did not know what was going to be in it. So we've got some fun stickers. This one made me cackle. I don't know why. I'm very excited about this one because I have recently just watched all of the Star Wars movies, so I thought this was real cute. <laughs> so in the box was this guy, which I screamed. <laughs> 
absolutely just made my day slash week slash life. It's so cute. Look at the little suns. Obviously it's a rainbow boy. He lives in the window, but I'm just hanging him up so that I can take a picture. And it matches my mirror, like perfectly. But honestly, thank you so much, Selena. I'm in love. I've already messaged her offs. So I know it's not Halloween anymore, and these girls are kind of witch, witchy girls, but I had a singular person ask if I was going to be restocking these, so since I had some of the prints lying around already, I'm going to list six sets. If they sell, they sell. If they don't, they don't, but I'm um, just going to sort that out now. This is where we're at with the print. I almost got there. Since I'm opening my shop tomorrow and it's already 20 to five, I think I'm just gonna leave it, but I don't know if you remember me saying, but I ordered some patches. Uh, they're a little bit delayed because we were figuring out all the right thread colors and everything. So they're gonna be a bit later. So that means I'm gonna have to add those to the shop after I've opened it. So if you want prints of this, let me know and I'll add some then. But I... Don't really have time now to do it for tomorrow, so I'm just not gonna. Yeah, let me know. <laughs> day I'm actually opening my shop in half an hour pretty much just prepped everything I need to write my caption for my opening post take my shop off of holiday mode and I'm pretty much ready so I'm gonna finish my tea my mug is funny because I'm doing a big adult thing today here is the station I'm gonna give it a go like this tissue paper all my prints a5 envelopes on the side washi tape <laughs> Stamps here if I need them, but everything's pre-stamped, so it should be fine. Business cards, thank you cards. To write thank you notes, so I stick them on here so the ink doesn't go on the table. This is to write the person's name underneath the label. Scissors for tape, hairdressing scissors, because why not? Airmail stamps, custom stamps, which have my address on. Paper tape, other prints. And then the cart is in motion. Motion? The cart is being used for the first time today, so I already gave a tour in my last video, but I've taken some things out, put them on the desk for easy access. I've put the B-grade stickers up here just so I can grab them. And yeah, you know the rest of the story, so that is it. I am ready. I need to get on with writing this caption. Um, and I don't know how much I'll film once I've actually opened my shop, but I'll probably get some time lapses of some order packing. You know, the usual. the shop I've been filming for 10 minutes and I forgot <laughs> past four I have packed 20 orders and I'm just having a sit down because my legs are really hurt I've been packing for an hour and a half my legs hurt I've just fed the cats admittedly a bit late but they were fine about it <laughs> they were very understanding <laughs> ow my legs <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has bought something from my shop so far or well I mean at any point now in the past or in the future thank you so much I had someone buy one of my little originals, which was a nice surprise, thank you, to whoever that was. 
I always really, really appreciate all the support. It's always mind blowing and it's great. And people are buying the magnets, which is so much fun. So thank you for that. And I hope that you enjoy them. If you have a fridge uh, or if you have like a metal cart or metal box or something, they'll go on those as well. <laughs> It's pretty warm now. I was gonna go and sit in the garden for five minutes, but it started to rain. After all this heat, the one evening I want to go and sit in the garden and it's raining. Anyway, just gonna sit and listen to Bo for a bit. I've had his album on repeat all day, the past few days. I am not bored, that man is a genius. And I will never get bored because that man is a genius. p.m. I am 30 orders in. My legs are killing me so I think I'm gonna stop for now. My calves are aching, my feet hurt and I have a stitch. <laughs> I'm not a very fit person but I have been standing here since half two and it's five o'clock so like I said I'm gonna stop, sit down, edit some of this video, probably eat something too. Tuesday 22nd today. I opened my shop on Thursday so it's been a few days and I've had a few orders and thank you again so much. It means the world. I need to water my plants today. My patches came yesterday and I really wanted to show you them. They kind of tie in with the new stickers and the magnets. It's kind of like a little growing flower series I guess. Something like that so we've got just the little flower and then we've got grow we've got blossom and we've got bloom so this was my design for the patch i thought it would be a really cute design for a patch and a really nice shape i got my patches as well as my magnets as well as my old zines and my old sticker sheets i got all of these things made at awesome merchandise which is a really cool website they make a whole bunch of stuff and the people who work there are really helpful we went over this a few times Basically, I uploaded my design and then they kind of matched the thread colours and then they sent me a proof and I thought, oh, the green is a bit too bright, it looks a bit weird, so I asked if we could change it and then it was a bit too dark and then, like, the orange was wrong, so I changed that up a bit. Um, picked, like, a third option for the green, but they were really, really helpful, really great and they sent me a proof every time they made a change and now I'm really happy with the way they turned out and I really want to make more already. So they are iron-on. I tried to get stick-on, but I couldn't. Um, I don't know if people still own irons. I'm not gonna suggest that you try something else, but I was wondering, like, maybe you could use a hair straightener? As long as you're careful, as long as you put greaseproof paper around it. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, don't recommend that. But if you have an iron, <laughs> or you could, like, safety pin it on, or put it on a cork board or something. I mean, it doesn't have to go on anything. But they will be up in the shop soon maybe even by the time this video goes up i will put on the screen now because i should know by the time i've edited this and i'm uploading it if um if they're up yet but they should be so yeah uh, link to my shops in the description if you're interested if not thanks for looking at the design anyway i've been really procrastinating today it's like 20 to 1 and i haven't done much i mean i got ready there's that <laughs> um i didn't sleep very much last night and i'm just i'm just tired at the moment but anyway i'm gonna work a bit on the video you are currently watching and i might take pictures of the patches today we'll see i need to sort them because there's definitely some b grade ones let me show you oh there's a rainbow there from my new sun catcher so you can clearly see that their faces are a little bit messy this one's got a good base for comparison so ones like this will be like a b or even a c grade and they'll be uh, quite a bit cheaper um to purchase so i need to go through those and grade them up i knew it was a bad decision to go for like a detailed face but i wanted to go for a little face there's quite a few that look good like this one stitching's a bit off on the bottom row so that will be a lower grade but that's just 
how it is. Plus companies will usually make more than you ask for and send you the extras so it kind of makes up for it considering you're gonna have to charge less for the non-perfect ones anyway but you get extra so yeah. They're really good like that. I might actually email them and say what a great job they've done and how helpful they were. To be fair the whole time we were talking I was like you don't have to send a proof this time it's fine like thanks you'll be in great anyway and they're like okay cool we'll send you a proof in a few days. I'm like oh thank you so much uh, but they were really helpful and I really recommend their service. So yeah patches how exciting I've always wanted to make patches and I did it finally. This is the box that my patches came in and I put it on the floor just because my recycling bag's a bit full and uh, someone's made a home. today I am wearing makeup but I look really tired I think it's because I don't have my glasses on so today I'm going to take pictures of the patches and edit those and list them yesterday I was just doing like order packing and I popped into town to post them and get some food and I just did some like ad mini bits I had some emails to send and stuff beforehand so I couldn't do any of the patch stuff yesterday my glassine a4 size bags that I ordered haven't come in yet and I'm starting to think they just forgot them from the order so I sent them a little email hopefully they will get back to me or just send them out whatever they want to do so first things first we need to grade them up so I'm gonna get them all out look at them all <laughs> so I'm just gonna go through and pick out the ones with the less perfect faces or like off stitching and things like that. I've never graded patches before and it's gonna be difficult to distinguish what should be a B and what should be a C. So I think what I'll do is I'll go through and find all the A grades first and then I will go through and distinguish <laughs> the Bs and the Cs. Okay, cool. Lol. <laughs> I'm a very picky person when it comes to grades and unless it's basically perfect I will not put it in the A grade section. Uh, so these are my A grades and then these are my not perfect. <laughs> so there's quite a few. Some of them just have very minor like problems like the eye stitching being a bit off or, or the mouth being too high, something like that. Some of them have like some tufts around the edges and stuff but it's mostly just like the face being slightly off but I mean they're still cute and now I need to sort these into B's and C's which is going to be real tricky and I don't want to do it but here we go. So we've got our section. I found a couple more A grades while I was doing that, so here's how it goes. A grade, B grade, C grade. So I've got more C grades by a few. So these ones just don't look as cute. Again, I did mention this, it's my own fault because I just, I knew I shouldn't have gone for such an intricate little face, but I just really wanted to uh, and I did it and there's nothing I can do now. So if you wanna get a cheaper one, there's lots of those. I'm just really fussy and there's honestly barely anything wrong with these. They just don't look as cute as these ones, like face-wise, so. So yeah, right, I'm gonna, I need to count them, take pictures and all that fun jazz. These are our final numbers. Hello again, you've made it to the end. Well done, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. Uh, shop is back open, yay. Links in the description if you're interested. It feels really good to be back 
at it. It also gets me out of the house because I have to go out to go to the post office. <laughs> so <laughs> there was definitely a few weeks where I didn't leave the house at all. But that's just part of being your own boss, baby. I do try to get out when I can. We'll go for walks or just like little wonders or to a cafe or something. But anyway, rambling again. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring again. And I don't think I have anything else to say. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you have any questions about anything, I don't know. Uh, I did say, didn't I, that I got all my products made at Awesome Merch awesome merchandise because I always get a lot of questions about where I get my stuff made. I'm not bothered about sharing because I don't put a lot of research into where I get my stuff made. I just get my stickers made at Sticker App and I get everything else made at awesome, awesome merchandise or I get my thank you and business cards made at Vistaprint. Um, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> thanks again and I'll see you next time hopefully. Take care, have a great week and hopefully the sun will come out soon. That is my last word of the day, okay? See ya.